What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to steal color grades. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos to help you grow as creators. Consider subscribing and joining this awesome community. Today, I'm teaching you how to take a color grade from somewhere else, steal it for yourself and use it in your own videos. It's a pretty easy process, but there are a couple tricks that I have not seen a lot of people touch on that will give you an even better result. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and we'll get going. So of course you're gonna need some video clips. So first off, I've just got this uh, bridge flyover shot and then I've got a girl walking through the woods. And then the screenshots I have that I wanna steal from is the Blade Runner 2049. It's a very, very popular color grade. And then of course we've got the color grade uh, from Evil Dead, the remake that came out not too long ago. So we are gonna be doing the Blade Runner on the bridge shot that we have. And then we are gonna be doing the Evil Dead on the uh, girl walking through the woods. This is not a say all end all, but it does help to have color grades that are generally in the same kind of vibe and style that you're looking to steal from for your video videos uh, it will save a little bit of time and headache so I'm gonna take this shot and move it out of the way of the girl in the woods we're gonna grab our Blade Runner image bring it right up next to the shot that we're wanting to color grade it to we're gonna go inside the color tab and in here is where we're gonna be doing primarily everything because we're stealing color grades so the easiest way to do it is click on the image you want to steal a color grade from hold shift click on the image or video that you're wanting to apply it to and then you are going to right click and you're gonna hit shot match to this clip. Now I will tell you from trial and error and some of you may get hung up on this and not know why, if I right click on the bridge instead of the Blade Runner image, that is actually going to apply it to the Blade Runner image. So you can see if I hit shot match to this clip, it is now changing the Blade Runner image. So if some of you are trying to apply a color grade and you're like, why is it applying the wrong one to the other? I hit shift and then clicked on the one that I wanna apply it to. Make sure you're right clicking on the correct one. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to get that back to normal. And we are going to do this again. Shift, click on that again. We are going to right click on the Blade Runner image, shot match to this clip. And now it is applying it to the bridge. So now if we go into the bridge, you can see it didn't do an amazing job. It looks okay. Uh, if we go into the edit tab and we do the same thing, let's grab this other one and let's come back in here into the color tab. Let's do the same thing with this. Let's hold shift, click that, right click, and let's do shot match to this clip. That one's doing a little bit of a better job if you're bouncing between those two. Not every shot is gonna look really good if you're you know, stealing color grades from other. Now you can go in here and you could actually add nodes. So let's just delete that serial node real quick and let's hit Option S on a Mac a couple times and add a couple different nodes. What we could do is we could apply the color grade that we're stealing so we can right click on our image, shot match to this clip, it's gonna apply it. And you can see, because I clicked on the third node, it actually saved that. So in here, we could do a bunch of different corrections if we wanted to, and that is actually going to still keep our color grade right there. Let's say that image is a little strong, we could hop into the key tab and we could actually turn the input down on that. Maybe we want it to be way more saturated, maybe we wanna adjust the hue a little bit, that is a really good tip to be able to adjust everything, have your color grade in there. Then if I hit Command D to disable that, you can still see in our first nodes, we have corrections that we can apply and so on and so forth. Now, before we get to the last tip that I think is very crucial in stealing color grades and getting that really professional look, let's talk about the sponsor of this video and that is Motion Array. I have been using Motion Array for a couple years now and I'm always impressed every time I hop on their website. No matter what editing platform you're using, Using, they've got you covered. They've got you covered even more because they just recently brought out plugins and it's their own motion array plugin that goes into your NLE. Whether you're on PC or Mac, it's as simple as downloading it, putting in your information and it immediately opens into your editor. For me being a DaVinci Resolve editor, it works flawlessly in it. It's just as easy as searching it over in the toolbox on the side, dragging it onto my image, 
applying it, changing however I want to change, and then I'm done. Whether you wanna pay monthly, annual, or you have a team of editors that you need to get for everyone, they have got you covered. I'll have a link in the description below that'll give you discount code on an already good deal using Motion Array. Thank you so much for Motion Array for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Now I mentioned I have a very critical tip that I think will make your images look even better when you're stealing color grades from other movies. So I'm gonna hop back into the editing page and over here under our toolbox and open effects, I'm gonna be looking for color palette. So if I add color palette to the Blade Runner, you can see everything in the highlights, the mid-tones, the shadows, it's gonna show everything in that color palette. The reason I really like that is if you have it applied to your other images that you're trying to steal and apply that grade to, when you go in the color tab, after we apply it on there, Let's turn this one on by hitting Command D. So now we rehab it. Let's turn it back up all the way. Let's bring our saturation back down just a little bit. And let's just temporarily shut off all these other nodes by hitting Command D. That way we just have the color grade on there. You can see if I click between the two now, I can get a general idea on what is missing, what is over pushing things. Maybe it's this teal. I don't like that teal. So let's see, we've got it kind of in our mid-tones. So let's grab it and let's push the mid-tones away from the green a little bit. And now you can see that it's already starting to get in the general idea. Again, it's gonna need a lot of work because this isn't the perfect image. This one's already pretty close. And again, we can fine tune these. Maybe this one has a little bit more blue in the mid-tones and we've got some greens in here. That I don't want to have in there. So if I wanted to, I could either take the greens and my curves, I could bring those down a little bit, or I could go into the hue saturation or my color wheels and start bringing that away, maybe towards the blues more. That way when I'm cutting between the two, I can start the seat. Again, like I mentioned, it definitely is not gonna be 100% perfect unless you take that time and really go through it. Really fine tuning it is up to you. There's so many screenshots if you just Google you know, a, a movie and then say color palette, it's gonna bring that up. So if you're trying to replicate something and start a color grade on something and you don't want to steal the color grade the way that we've done it earlier and you want to start building it from scratch, having this applied to your image and having a color palette that you pulled from Google or you apply this to a still, just like we're doing, and you're comparing it and you are starting from scratch, it is a really good way to learn more about color grading. And color grading is one of those things that you just get better and better over time and you are constantly growing. That's it for me today. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. Hope you learned something in DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comments below some new videos you guys wanna see. See you next time. Peace.